I've always liked playing with the wood in the garage. And for Corinne Leclerc, building a birdhouse was a creative way to help time fly by. It started last year. Well, I was at home because of the pandemic and didn't have any school. Looking good. He and his father, Eric, gathered up scrap wood and got to work. <laughs> to cut, drill and assemble the sturdy bird nests made from locally sourced cedar. Well, we've built probably like a dozen to put in the backyard. Throughout the forested yard of their home in Chelsea, Quebec. Snoopy one. <laughs> until neighbor Glynis Peters wanted one of her own. We gave her, um, went to her for free, but then she insisted on giving me $20 for it. I could imagine seeing chickadees taking up residence. I just wanted to reward him for his time. Peters was his first customer. It's creative, it's thoughtful, nature, this is where we live, it reflects where we live. Word of the handcrafted bird abode spread. It's great for it. it's got a white-breasted nuthatch in it. No problem. We just live down the road, and uh, I mean, we just think this is such a great project. The 16-year-old created a website and sales are flying high. I sold over 100 last year. Well, so far this year we made around like 70 maybe, but we have like over 140 orders. He's taken this, this whole idea and he's taken it to new levels. Leclerc's dad is there to help build his son's fledgling business. It's allowed him to really uh, hone in on a bunch of different skills that will be a lifelong uh, use to him. And to get behind the wheel when it's time to deliver, Leclerc is learning to drive, that is, when he can. Dad, you really need to drive because I've got some emailing to do, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to run it down, I think, and I think I still need one of those. Leclerc builds between his online classes and plans to save some of the cash for university. I hope to become an architect. So be on the lookout for more models and even bat boxes. It was always fun to do for me, so it's an added bonus that I can sell them to people. Tyler Fleming, CTV News.